Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. Yes, it has been quite a while, but with the recent gain in popularity of the terraforming series, we will celebrate by terraforming yet another planet in our solar system. And today we're going to be focusing on Earth's sister planet, Venus. The rocky, burning hot acid rain planet that you all know and love. Well, maybe not love. It did melt pretty much every single probe we've sent to it. But you know, even if NASA doesn't love it, uh, we're, we're going to give it some love in this video. So let's do our best. So Venus, what is keeping Venus from realizing its true potential? Wow, that's that's a pretty intense uh, question for a planet. It's almost as if I'm treating Venus like a person. Well, our first issue is going to be the albedo, which sadly we cannot change without uh, with a collision, but we're going to do it anyways. We're going to have to have something hit Venus to knock away its atmosphere uh, because its atmosphere is in the way. So we're going to have Europa, which also has water, hit Venus uh, from 25,000 kilometers away. And we'll give Europa a little... Oh, jeez. That, that was not what was planned. Okay, let's try this again. We'll have it hit from this side so that it has a little bit of velocity. There we go. How much velocity do we have on Europa? Okay, that's very fast. That's going to do it. So we're going to bring things down to real time, get rid of trails and labels, and let's watch the first step in terraforming Europa. As time goes by, we can see Europa is actually melting and letting off a lot of material because of the proximity to the sun. We can see it's a little trail there. But now it's going to smack into Venus. And this is going to cause some interesting things. Are you serious? I missed? That was by like an inch. You've got to be kidding me. Okay. Obviously, I did not go to God Tool School. Wow, that rhymes. Okay, let's give it a nice grazing shot. There we go. Now it's going to hit. Upon hitting Venus, we're going to see some things happen. I'm not sure if it's going to knock the atmosphere away. That simulation is a little bit shaky in this game. Oh, yes, we can see the atmosphere uh, and water displacement onto Venus. So we can actually see water on Venus. We can see that the atmosphere has lost. Oh, well, we've knocked off Venus's entire atmosphere. Uh, that may have been a little bit too much. Let's see if it kept anything. Now this smoldering remains of a planet, we have to pray that we can uh, send it back into greatness. Okay, Venus, how are you doing? Let's look at your temperature. You are at 524 degrees and heating up as time goes on because of your proximity to the sun. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to, after it lost its atmosphere, tweak the albedo. And this is going to be a fun thing to do because when we pull this down... Oh, it's just going to heat up. So we have to put it up. But we can't have it at 1 or nothing will change. So if we put it at 96% reflection... Still 300 degrees. Let's set it to 97% reflection. 98% reflection? <laughs> this is almost the equivalent of a giant sheet of ice blocking off everything. This is, uh... This is pretty intense. Okay, so let's speed things up a bit. Uh... 99%. We can't send it into an ice age, though. We have to be careful to make sure that everything we do is kind of balanced. So Venus has now hit the point where its temperature is dropping to the point where we can see liquid water on its surface. But it's still pretty hot. And it's heating up. 
So we're going to go 99.5 for, I did not say one. I said 99.5 actually. No, 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 that's not what I meant to do. Whoops. Uh-oh. Okay, 0 0.995. Maybe it just says one. Yes, I think that's actually working. So now we have a stable temperature at about 100 degrees. But that's really not what we want. Okay, we've sped things up a little bit too much. Um, what we want is a livable temperature. So we'll do 0 0.997. And maybe that'll cause it to drop a bit more. Proving my theory that it actually is. Yes, so it actually is working. It says one, but it isn't one. That pushes the temperature to... Oh, that's quite the fluctuation. Going from 50 to 100 degrees. But it's still too warm for the life we want. So let's drop, uh, we'll raise it to 99.8% reflection. This is dropping our lowest temperature to 40 degrees in the highest. Oh, actually, the lowest degree is at 18, which is pretty much perfect. Yeah, we're going to leave it there. That's fine. And it appears that we didn't actually knock the atmosphere off. So let me shut off steam real quick so people don't spam me. Bam. Um, and then we're just going to jump over to temperature. And we're going to lower the surface pressure to one atmosphere to simulate a lot of the atmosphere being knocked off. This is going to mess things up a lot. I probably should have done that first. I definitely should have done that first. Now it's going to get very cold. Yes, okay, so we actually have to turn down the albedo now. Not a ton, it's fine. Oh, we just got it perfect. Okay, so now everything's good. There's less atmosphere. Uh, the atmosphere is still very hard to see through. Because I guess, I guess the game isn't going to uh, bother simulating that. So let's just not show the atmosphere and see what it looks like. On Venus so we do have visible land poking out of the water we have some clouds too do we have land poking out yeah we do a few islands but then when things get hot so once it gets to like 60 degrees on the other side do the Islands pop out a bit more. Yeah, they do. Because the top layer of water does get evaporated a bit. But we should get rid of a little bit of the water. We're going a little bit too uh, extreme with the oceans. There we go. That looks good. There we go. That is our terraformed Venus. And I think we've done a good job. What is the life likelihood here? Um, materials... A 57% chance of life, and it's an 86.8% similarity to Earth. The only difference is the size of the planet, which is about half of Earth. And if we raise that, now obviously we can't do this realistically, but if we raise it, it will bring our similarity to 90%. And our life likelihood is at 56%. Uh, what's the temperature currently at? Oh, we're at the high part. So let's go back to the low temperature area. So back where it hits a steady, ooh, because it's bigger, it gets colder. Whoops. Okay, that's fine. Let's just check what the, like, yeah, we're at 98% like Earth now and a 60% chance of life. So I am happy with that. Thank you guys for watching. We have successfully terraformed uh venus but let's just give it a little bit of an explosion because this is universe sandbox 2 zoom back a little bit lock on target and let's shoot it with io
Okay, Io, if you do not actually want to hit your target. Jeez. Darn Io. What a party pooper. Okay, there we go. And let's watch as it's sent back into the days of no life. Oof. It's been absolutely destroyed. Isn't that just horrible? Oh, wait. No, there's still water on it. Good job, Venus. Oh, no. Now it's frozen. Okay, so we have seriously messed things up. We have frozen Venus. Uh, it's literally the opposite of what it's supposed to be. Good job, guys. Uh, let's end this off with a supernova because that is the stylish way to go out. Stylish. Man, I have a different definition of stylish than most. There we go. Now the entire solar system gets to be baked. Like an easy bake oven, except deadly. And here we are. The end of the simulation. I just killed billions of people. That that's that's not a good thing, is it? Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode of Universe Sandbox 2. And leave a comment if you want more Universe Sandbox 2. Or maybe you think that we should just steer away from it. It's up to you guys. And I will see you with a new series coming up soon. And more. Bye.